Hi everyone and welcome to day 21 of our Christmas countdown. So for today's video I want to cover the new moon in Capricorn which is happening on the 23rd of December and we're going to talk a little bit about the winter solstice which is today. So the winter solstice really marks the darkest day of the year. This is where nights are the longest. So this is... Um, in the Northern Hemisphere, this is our sign that winter has begun. And it's all about finding that balance between dark and light. Because if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then obviously this is the opposite. And this is the longest days, you know, this is your summer solstice. So whether you are in the Northern or Southern Hemisphere, it doesn't matter. It's just about finding that balance between the dark and the light. Obviously, if you are in the Northern Hemisphere and this is... Um, the winter solstice for you, then this is a time of kind of like reflection. You know, winter is all about um, tuning into yourselves, like accessing your inner world, finding out what your motivations are, like reassessing, um, you know, all the different areas in your life which you really want to work on or improve. Like winter is a wonderful time to do that planning and that preparation. But anyway, my main focus for today is on the new moon, which is at one degree in Capricorn. And that happens on the 23rd of December, 2020. So Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is all about boundaries, limits, consequences, and karma. Um, so this is, you know, this is why we set New Year's resolutions in Capricorn season. Um, because, you know, it's, a time where perhaps we have been overindulging a little bit and Capricorn's like, okay, well, now we need to talk about the consequences of your actions. What resolutions are you going to set? Saturn really holds you responsible, which is why it is a good time for making resolutions because you're more likely to feel um, that sense of responsibility and be able to set the boundaries and limits and stick with them. And it's weird because obviously... We make New Year's resolutions on New Year, but we know that the astrological New Year doesn't begin until spring, which is much later in, um, you know, it's in a couple of months time, it's much later on. So even though you may be using this time to set New Year's resolutions, don't be too harsh with yourself because, um, you know, the time to really set those resolutions is um, with the spring equinox, which like I said, that marks the start of the actual astrological new year, um, Aries season. Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. So whilst this is a really good time to think about your boundaries and to make some resolutions, um, if you are feeling more kind of like hermity with this winter solstice and with a new moon, and you don't feel like this is a time where you want to set resolutions, don't put that pressure on yourself because you don't need to. So what's interesting about this new moon? Well, it is square to Jupiter in Aries. And Jupiter in Aries is very stubborn, very determined, very kind of focused on self. This is like, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do it now. Like, very impulsive energy. And Capricorn's like, well, do you know the consequences of these rash, rash decisions? So it's interesting because I find that we may be experiencing this pull where on the one hand, we really want to, you know, make some quick decisions. If we feel an opportunity, we want to do it now. You may want to like start a new relationship. You may want to move house, start a new job. And that Capricorn energy is just kind of like that, that voice that we need, which says, is this really the best idea? Do you really want to do this right now? Um, because you don't want to rush this. You don't need to rush this. Capricorn is asking us to find structure and um, to make plans. So definitely like plan and prepare, but don't feel like you have to, to do this right now. So during um, Capricorn season, especially with this new moon in Capricorn, you may feel like you have to accept some kind of responsibility. You may feel like you have to um, maybe accept responsibility for past decisions and decide what it is that, you know, you really want to do next. It's true, isn't it? Decide what it is that you want to do next. So by accepting responsibility, you can kind of like plan and prepare for the future much better here. Um, so basically, if you want to be happier, 
Capricorn season's all about being disciplined. So this new moon in Capricorn is asking us to be disciplined, to be focused. And if we do want to increase our happiness, then that kind of like being disciplined with ourselves is the way to, to make this happen. So with the new moon, you're going to find yourself thinking, what new structures do you need in your life? And what old structures aren't serving you anymore? Now, new moons are often a time for setting intentions, for like, you know, going out and making stuff happen. Um, especially Capricorn. Capricorn is known to be the hard working sign. It's known to be a bit of a go getter. Um, but because we have the winter solstice a few days before and we're in winter, um, for me, this is a time where it's not necessarily about working hard. Oh dear. It's not necessarily a time about working hard and making stuff happen, but more a time of like maybe like planning and preparing. Um, but don't feel like you have to like do too much right now. For me, it's more about getting organized, doing lots of reflecting, and really just thinking about those old structures I want to get rid of, the new structures I want structures I want to implement. Um, and you know how Oh dear, you finished? And how I can best um, make this happen. So, this new moon is supporting the energy of embracing gratitude for blessings. Um, because the more grateful you are for the blessings that you have right now, the more you are going to attract, the higher your vibration is going to be. It's a really good time to look at the higher order of things. Um, Theo might grab my phone in a second. To look at the higher order of things and just decide, um, you're reading mummy's notes, and just decide, you know, what it is that you feel um, you need to change, like what it is that you feel you are very grateful for and what you feel like would need a little bit of extra work. Are you telling them? Are you telling everyone? Can mummy have her phone back, please? Um, so Theo has just hijacked my notes. Um, yeah, so also Saturn. Saturn is about, <laughs> Saturn is about reminding us of the collective, reminding us how we are all connected. So this new moon will be a good time to think about the consequences of your actions and how they're impacting others. So it's a time where we want to maybe stop overindulging and start to be a little bit more reserved and think a little bit more about, you know, the other people in our lives and even strangers like people we don't know how they are maybe being affected how we can help and serve others so it's a time where um you're being guided to also kind of like rein in on instant happiness so not look for that instant happiness which could be what jupiter in aries is you know making you feel like you want to do but rather than looking for instant happiness instead focusing more on deep soul happiness you're spilling your milk everywhere mister so do you feel truly content or are you more just doing things which are bringing you happiness on a day-to-day you know, basis, which there's no harm in that. You know, sometimes we all want to chill out, watch a bit of TV just to kind of um, have a little bit of enjoyment in the now. But what are you doing which is bringing your soul that deep happiness which it desires? Is there something you could be doing here which is going to, um, which is going to help? Please don't. Please, Theo. He he always knows which button is um stop recording. You taking some pictures? So yeah, having a think about whether you are truly happy um and what you could be doing to maybe increase that deep soul happiness, like putting those plans in place, that's what this new moon in Capricorn is really gonna support. Um and also Saturn, you know. This new moon is all going to be about structure, getting organised, getting on top of things, on top of bills. Just like whatever has been a little bit chaotic or disorganised, this new moon you're going to feel motivated to finally get those areas of your life in order. Um, and lastly, Saturn is about saying no. Um, Saturn is all about saying no without fear and if you say yes then do it with love do it with an open heart so it's a time when we need to think about our boundaries 
no ladies you either want to do something or you don't and you definitely have to start practicing saying no without that fear of what other people are going to think so use this new moon for inner reflecting to find that peaceful place within um it's a good time for writing as well because you know capricorn for me um i always find during capricorn season i really want to journal i want to write things down again baby what's wrong you want some more milk? You really want to kind of journal and write things down. Because um, it's all about structure. So, you know, whatever you're doing, do it being organised. Come here. Do it being organised. So, um, with this new moon, do that inner reflecting work. Spend some time by yourself as well. Because solitude um, is definitely a good thing with this new moon. So, just having that time out being um you know finding like your place of inner peace so that you can really just contemplate what you need to contemplate think on your own sd think on your own and think about what changes you need to make you know those new structures those old structures get organized um but don't feel like you've got to do too much with this new moon. Don't feel like you've got to go out there and make things happen. Remember that we have just had the winter solstice two days before this new moon. So really you want to kind of be, be embracing that winter energy and just kind of tuning down a little bit like not being so on the go but instead just making time for yourself um, embracing those moments of inner peace and truly just um you know finding your happy place finding what changes you need to make really being brutally honest with yourself um because you know capricorn is all about you know they're very good at being critical you know self-critical um so yeah this is a really wonderful time to do that inner work and to decide you know where your life needs a little bit more organization but this new moon in capricorn is a super moon as well which just means it's a little bit closer to earth and normal really powerful you're going to feel this energy look at where you have capricorn in your birth chart as well for me it's in my first house so look at that it'll give you more of an insight to where this new moon may affect you most so for me it's more about myself um and kind of <laughs> what are you doing and getting organized with myself so um yeah it is so for me I might want to kind of like make some changes to my appearance, you know, those kind of things. What you're saying, don't do it, mummy. Don't, don't cut your hair off. Theo's just having a little babble. So, um, yeah, you, you know, do whatever you feel guided to with this new moon, but remember that you don't have to do too much. You can just use this for some quiet time and um, really preparing for maybe what you want to do in 2023 so maybe what you want to do in the new year um but yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this little insight into the new moon in capricorn sorry it was a little bit chaotic i've got the little one i've got three dogs and um it's a bit crazy in this house today isn't it theo a little bit crazy so thank you for being patient i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it kind of gave you a little bit of an insight into this new moon in capricorn capricorn season in general um and you learned a little bit as well so let me know what resonated let me know what you found insightful and i will see you back here tomorrow for our next christmas countdown video but for now it is goodbye from me and theo <laughs> turning it off Bye. You waving bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.